Let's take a look at how we can manipulate the normal attribute in geometry nodes. When we refer to normals in traditional 3D modeling, we are referring to the direction that the outward side of our geometry is facing. I'm just going to quickly display this in my viewport overlays. I need to go into edit mode first, then go to my viewport overlays menu, and I'm just going to turn on normals for my faces and increase the size. So these blue lines represent the normal direction of each individual face. This is an attribute for our faces in geometry nodes. So I'm going to demonstrate this by going to our geometry nodes workspace and then select the face domain in the spreadsheet. Here we have numerous attributes, including our normal attribute. We can use this to control specific nodes. For example, let's say I wanted to extrude out from each of the side faces whilst ignoring the top and bottom face. We're going to add a geometry node setup. And since the main purpose here is to extrude, our first addition is going to be the extrude node. So type in extrude and select extrude mesh positioning here. Now we have several inputs that we can work with. I'm going to use the selection input to define where on my cube I want to extrude. I'm going to call the normal attribute to do this. So again, we're going to go to search in the add menu, type in normal, click, drop, and then connect to our selection. Now all we're doing is calling the normal data to the selection, but we're not defining it at the moment. So if I want to define my selection based on the side panels rather than the top and bottom panels, then I'm going to want to separate it on a specific axis, in this case, the Z axis. This means I'm going to add a separate XYZ node. I'll plug it in here and then connect the Z value to the selection. Now at this point, we have isolated it so that any of the faces that have a value greater than one on the Z axis will be extruded. If we take a look at our spreadsheet, only point zero or face zero in this case has a Z value higher than one. So it is allowed to be extruded based on our definition using the normal attribute. We can confirm this by manipulating the offset scale, which allows us to resize our cube based off of this single face. Now we want to flip this and focus on the side faces. I can do this by telling Blender, for example, to only extrude faces that have a C value equal to a specific amount. In this case, I'm going to use the value of zero. Now the best node here to do this is going to be a compare node. So the method I'm going to choose is to add a math node and position it here. At the moment, this add node has influenced our extrude mesh node so that all of the faces are extruded except for the bottom one. I'm going to change this from add and I'm going to select. Now I'm going to change this value here to zero. As soon as I do that, the top face no longer extrudes and neither does the bottom. So with the compare node, we have the main value, which is based on the Z axis for our normal attribute. And that means that we are referring to this column here in our normal attribute of the spreadsheet. 
So what we're doing is if I just mute this, we're telling Blender to find all of the values of the faces on the Z axis for their normal attribute. If that value is zero, then it will be extruded. There's also the epsilon value, which is sort of like the threshold. So if it's 0.5 either side, then it also falls into the threshold and will be extruded. If I was to increase the value, eventually it would replace the extrusion from the sides to the top. Because now the base value of 0.7 is much higher than the Z value of almost all of our faces, but it falls within the epsilon of 0.5 for face zero. I'm just going to revert this back to zero, and now we can confirm that we can manipulate the scale of all of the side faces. And we've done this by defining our selection using the normal attribute. Let's take a look at another similar example. I'm going to replace my cube with a UV sphere. I'll just disconnect this for the moment. And I'm going to add a UV sphere as a primitive mesh. Then plug it in here. At the moment, we're extruding out all of the points on our model. I'm just going to turn off the individual setting. And now it just extrudes, or rather scales, in all directions. Now if I plug my separate XYZ node directly into the selection, you can now see that any faces that have a normal Z value greater than zero are going to be extruded. If we use the compare node, then as you can see we are able to better define which points we want to extrude. Another example could be to use something like a greater than node and then control the threshold value. So at the moment the threshold is set to zero. If we increase this value then it reduces the number of faces that are extruded because they don't fall within that threshold. These are a couple of examples of being able to control specific nodes using our normal attribute.